Hello, how's it going guys? Thank you for watching for this video. We are gonna do a taste test on Lily's milk chocolate style peanut butter cups. Peanut butter cups. Keto friendly peanut butter cups. So here we go. Brand new product as it says right on top. All right, so Lily's well known for their sugar free chocolate. I'm glad that they're moving beyond just chocolate bars. They're actually coming up with different products. I also saw their chocolate covered almonds. Uh, this one right here, I'm excited about because I do enjoy Reese's peanut butter cups. So it seems like this is gonna be a good alternative to those. Again, Lily's doesn't use sugar, they use stevia and erythritol. It's a good mix, uh, especially when you're trying to replace the flavor of sugar. I found this one in Whole Foods and it's actually $7.49, which is actually not too bad. Obviously, they're way more expensive than the regular Reese's peanut butter cups, but for somebody who maybe has trouble sticking to keto because of the sweets uh, this is gonna be a nice alternative remember you don't want to overdo the sweets on keto just because it won't help you get rid of the cravings but once in a while is okay uh, maybe you can even consider them a cheat meal before I open these up let me get into the nutritional facts so one serving is considered two pieces which is 30 grams and this bag right here has three total servings each serving is 130 calories 11 grams of fat 15 grams of carbs, which six are fiber and seven are erythritol. So 15 minus 13, that's two net carbs. That's actually outstanding. And it has three grams of protein. Now the top ingredients here are cocoa butter, erythritol, peanut flour, unsweetened co cacao, uh, chicory root fiber, and dextrin. And it says uh, non-GMO dextrin, so that's good. All right, so with that being put out, let's get into these. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh, okay, they're individually wrapped right here. So we have a seven. So it says two of them on one serving. We have six of these. So we each get one. I'll save these for uh, uh, Visa and uh, my Megu for later on. So I like that they're individually wrapped. So that way you can just throw it in your bag and boom, leave the house. It says it's 40% cacao, stevia sweetened. Seems nice and uh, creamy chocolate. Just by the texture, just touching it, you can see my fingerprint. See that? Oh my gosh. Mmm, that's so creamy. Mmm. Oh, there's the peanut butter right there. It does have the stevia aftertaste. It feels a little too sweet for me. But the peanut butter has a really nice flavor. It has a really nice texture. It's also very creamy. Chocolate is nice and thick. It's extra sweet for me though. Okay, so she likes it. Can't deny that texture though. It's so nice. It's so creamy. I think if they will put just a little bit less stevia or erythritol, whichever one, whatever the ratio that they use is, it would have been a lot better for me personally. I love the creaminess though. It just feels really nice. It just kind of covers your whole tongue. I think that if you have a problem with the stevia aftertaste, you might kind of taste it on this one. It might not be your favorite. My wife is like that. She doesn't really like the aftertaste of stevia. So I'm not sure how she's gonna feel about these. She's not here right now, otherwise I would ask her. But I don't mind the aftertaste so much. I do recognize it though. And uh, yeah, it's not crazy strong, I don't think. You know, it's just a little bit uh, too sweet for me. If I'm being honest, I probably prefer the uh, chocolate covered almonds that Lily uh, came out with. It seems like around the same time as these, but they both taste good. I just like the sweetness, bitterness levels that the chocolate covered almonds have in comparison to these right here. But yeah, I think they're great, good, especially if you have a sweet tooth, especially if they help you stay on keto. I recommend them if you have a sweet tooth for sure. I personally probably won't be buying too many of these uh, just because of that over sweetness. And so that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel. I got a bunch of videos coming up. Let me know in the comment section below if you know any other products that you want me to do a taste test on because you either tried it or you want to try them and you want to you know, get an inside before you buy them. But besides that, I really appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye-bye.